One of the famous quotes is, um, time is defined to make motion look simple. Okay. Because you cannot describe motion without some reference to time. Right. And so you define it so that motion is something we can describe easily with equations and things. So that's kind of a cop-out answer, but it's a very uh, functional answer for the physicist. Yeah. Um, I also think of time as this prison. Uh, time makes us all a prisoner of the present, forever transitioning from our own past into an unknown future. Mm. And uh, that's particularly uh, disturbing to me because we can move back and forth in any other coordinate, mm. you know, up and down, left and right, forward and back, but we're stuck in time. Mm. We can't move forward or backwards in time arbitrarily. So that coordinate has a kind of a fundamental difference from the other three. Now, my, uh, my professional ancestors, the earliest astronomers, basically invented timekeeping, all right? So all measures of time, historically, were derived from cosmic rhythms. So what we, today we would say the rotation of the Earth, but in the day it was the movement of the sun. Yeah. So that gave you a day, and then the sun's position on the sky throughout the days differed, and temperatures changed, so that gave us the seasons. And then, of course, back then it was the sun doing all this, but we would learn that we rotate and we revolve around the sun. So that took really long to figure out, disturbingly long. I mean, only like 400 years ago. When, so what it tells you is that you can keep track of time even though you have no freaking idea <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> because all that matters to you is that things repeat. Yeah. If you have something that repeats predictably, you, then you have created a timekeeping mechanism.